uh, when somebody said that the God is in the details, knew exactly what they were talking about because I think the amount of detailing we managed to achieve in this film is quite spectacular. So Assemblage predominantly is a computer graphics imagery studio, not into visual effects, not into kind of doing live action graphic stuff. Uh, but I think we put every love and affection and sweat and energy and passion in kind of making sure that we built as per uh, the need of uh, the calling of the film. Maddie uh, said that the VFX is the one that's going to start the film. I'm, I have to do one shot where I go from space all the way to uh, Nambisa's house. We were like, how is that going to happen actually? There's a long travel that's going to be involved. I think Ramana did a lot of uh, conceptualization. He had ideas of that it should actually go to some clouds and then it, there should be electricity. We are going to Nambi Narayan house, which is the Vendram, and then you go through the camera, there is lightning happening. You go down, you actually see a nice uh, map of India where there are lights open. And it was very challenging because it had to look realistic, it had to be believable. He said, how, how are we going to connect it to his house? And I think there we said that we want to do a drone shoot where we actually take the drone high in the air and that whole drone travels and comes to his house. Our biggest challenge was to actually stitch it and to find a nice sweet spot where it actually should stitch the whole shot. And when you see the film and it's playing, you'll not know where the stitch happens. It's beautifully done. So that I think that was a pretty uh, challenging shot for us. Nobody has ever seen a rocket engine in a movie. They've seen rockets, we've seen the nozzles, we've seen uh, the takeoffs and we've seen blasts. But I don't think there's any film in the world where you're able to see the actual rocket engine and how it looks. I think it all started from Maddie showing something that has never been done in India. We've, we've never shown an actual testing of an engine. We've always seen rocket launches, but even the rocket launch was very new to us. The whole test engine looks like a spectacular diamond jewelry. Everything is so sparkling, polished. It's perfect. Every edge is smooth. Every pipe is fixed, and you know, there's just the soldering is uh, like it, so. The whole engine, in a sense, has to be one solid piece of equipment. It cannot, you cannot see the joint. You should not be able to see the joints. And it's spectacular the way they got it right. And I couldn't have honestly asked for a better team. Again, divine influence. We had a very clear idea on exactly which uh, rocket we were supposed to build. ISRO launch were there on YouTube. We, we saw a lot of videos on how it actually gets launched. So each detail we studied that actually, you know, uh, each part of the sequence and we designed the entire sequence. It was very important that the camera work should look very realistic. So we thought, what if actually a drone is going around the whole rocket? What kind of feel we will actually get? So the whole camera work was choreographed and should make it look more natural. So uh, as, as an audience, you actually feel like this, there's actually like a drone flying all around the whole rocket. And it, it actually, in the end, it does feel very realistic. It feels really good. Uh, we also built a very small set around it, which was just to uh, support the whole rocket launch. Uh, we didn't use any stock footages. It was pure uh, simulation. There is, there is not even a single uh, stock footage we used. So those key aspects of the uh, rocket launch, the smoke blowing, the engine running, the, the, the crimson red that is happening to the engine, when it shuts down, what is the color happening, these were being validated by Mr. Nambi Narayan and that was a, like a big high. The Shiri Harikota explosion, I, I think that was one that was the last sequence of the whole uh, thing that they had shot and since this was live uh, and most of our work that we've done was was full CGI and this was one where we had to be on the shoot. So we were there on the shoot, uh, it was supposed to be around 4 o'clock in the afternoon and he, he gave us an idea where the whole stand would look at back in, in the back and and we had done our R&D uh, like a month before, like a full research on how the explosion would be. He, 
he specifically said don't do one explosion do like multiple explosion and the way it should explode we did multiple explosion to show him what kind of look the explosion would be he then asked for those smoke trails and fire trails coming out in the end he had an idea that the piece there's a piece of metal an object that should actually come towards them and he pushes uh, you know all his friends uh, around so no one gets hurt i think in the end that whole piece coming towards the camera he said it should just be hidden where the source is if you're watching a film you only see it for a very small portion of time the possessiveness and sheer missionary zeal with which they attacked this job i think is is legendary for me